In the labyrinth of human experience, we unearth the perpetual dance between risk and security, a dualism etched deeply in our consciousness. This narrative, reminiscent of the ancient Stoics, confronts us with a fundamental choice, to live with audacity or to be shackled by fear. Marcus Aurelius, in his meditations, implored us to embrace the impermanence of life, urging us to act not in avoidance of risk, but in acceptance of it. This philosophy echoes through the annals of time, from the teachings of Eastern sages to the bold explorations of modern scientists like Einstein, who dared to envision realities beyond the visible. Imagine the mind as an artist, tirelessly shaping the clay of our reality with the deft touch of our thoughts. This metaphor, resonant with deep meaning, has been a guiding light in both ancient wisdom and modern psychological thought. It tells us that the very fabric of our existence, the reality we live in, is intricately molded by the thoughts we nurture within us. Throughout history, great thinkers have pondered over this fascinating interplay between our thoughts and our reality. Carl Jung, a pioneer in understanding the human psyche, delved deep into the subconscious mind. His work suggested that our deepest thoughts and unexpressed emotions don't just linger in the shadows of our consciousness. They actively shape our perception of the world. In a similar vein, quantum physicists have unraveled the mysteries of the observer effect, where the mere act of observing a phenomenon alters its outcome. This groundbreaking revelation in the field of physics echoes the age-old wisdom. The quality of our thoughts has a profound impact on the reality we experience. This principle is not confined to the realms of psychology and science. It finds a resonant voice in various spiritual and philosophical teachings across the world. The Bible offers a powerful expression of this idea, stating as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. These words suggest that our innermost thoughts and beliefs shape our identity and, by extension, our reality. This sentiment is mirrored in the teachings of Buddha, who emphasized the paramount role of the mind in shaping our experiences. He taught that the mind is the forerunner of all states, leading us down the paths we choose to tread. In essence, our thoughts are not just fleeting, ethereal entities. They are the architects of our destiny, the sculptors of our world. The convergence of these diverse viewpoints, from religious teachings to scientific theories, underscores a universal truth. Our thoughts are powerful beyond measure. They have the capacity to shape our reality, influence our well-being, and determine the course of our lives. This realization empowers us with a profound responsibility to be mindful of the quality of our thoughts by fostering positive, constructive, and compassionate thinking. We can weave a reality that reflects these qualities. This principle offers a path to personal transformation. By changing our thoughts, we can alter our perception, and in doing so, we can change our experience of the world. This doesn't imply that our external circumstances will magically transform, but rather that our interpretation and response to these circumstances can evolve. The pursuit of knowledge, spanning from the ancient libraries of Alexandria to the digital archives of today is a journey fraught with both triumph and tragedy. Great thinkers, from Socrates to modern day Nobel laureates, have grappled with the paradox of knowing. The more we know, the more we realize our ignorance. This humility before the vast expanse of the unknown is a hallmark of true wisdom, a sentiment echoed by Einstein when he professed to know very little in the face of the universe's mysteries.
Imagine life as an intricate dance of opposites, a delicate balance where contrasting forces come together in a harmonious symphony. This idea, a cornerstone in the musings of philosophers, poets, and scientists, paints a picture of life's beauty and complexity as stemming from the dynamic interplay of dualities. It's a concept deeply rooted in the ancient philosophy of Taoism, embodied by the iconic yin and yang symbol, which illustrates how seemingly opposite or contrary forces may actually be complementary, interconnected, and interdependent in the natural world. In the realm of psychology, Carl Rogers, a visionary in understanding the human condition, highlighted the delicate balance between acceptance and change. He proposed that personal growth flourishes in a space where we accept ourselves as we are while simultaneously recognizing the need for change and improvement. This duality, acceptance and change, is not a contradiction but rather a dynamic interplay that propels us forward in our personal journeys, delving into the mysteries of the physical world. We encounter a similar theme, the theory of relativity and quantum mechanics, two pillars of modern physics, present a universe where seemingly contradictory truths coexist. Relativity paints a picture of a grand smooth cosmos, governed by the curvature of space-time, while quantum mechanics reveals a subatomic world of probabilities, uncertainties, and abrupt changes. These theories, though seemingly at odds, together provide a more complete understanding of the universe's workings. This duality is not just a cold scientific fact. It's a poetic truth that resonates through our lives. It's in the way joy is made more poignant by the touch of sorrow, and peace more profound when it follows strife. The harmony of opposites is evident in the changing seasons, the cycle of day and night, and even in the ebb and flow of relationships and human emotions. The concept of duality teaches us that life's beauty often lies in its contrasts. It's in these contrasts that we find depth, richness, and meaning. It's a reminder that life is not a flat landscape of sameness, but a rich tapestry of varied experiences, emotions, and perspectives. Moreover, this understanding of life as a symphony of opposites offers a path to greater empathy and acceptance. Recognizing the interconnectedness of opposing forces encourages us to embrace different viewpoints to find balance in our own lives, and to appreciate the complexity of the world around us. Our life's journey is akin to an odyssey, a theme prevalent in both ancient epics and modern narratives. This odyssey, as described by Homer, Joseph Campbell's hero's journey, or the spiritual quests of mystics, is not just a physical voyage, but an internal pilgrimage towards self, discovery, and enlightenment. The trials and triumphs faced along this path reflect our inner battles and victories, echoing the words of Rumi, who saw the journey of the soul as the greatest adventure. Have you ever paused to reflect on the ebb and flow of existence, the way everything in our universe seems to follow a rhythm of being born, growing, and eventually fading away. It's a theme that echoes across various aspects of our lives, from the natural world to our cultural beliefs and scientific understandings. It's like a universal melody present in the background of everything we experience and know. Let's take a moment to think about this in the context of different perspectives. In the rich traditions of Hinduism, there's Shiva, a deity, often associated with the cycle of creation and destruction. Shiva's cosmic dance isn't just a religious symbol. It's a reflection of a fundamental truth about our world. It speaks of how everything around us 
and within us is part of an ongoing cycle of creation and destruction, birth and destruction, birth and decay. Turning our gaze to the heavens, we see this principle mirrored in the life cycle of stars. Stars are born from cosmic dust. They live out their lives shining brightly. And eventually, they fade away, often in spectacular explosions that give birth to new stars. It's a cosmic cycle of renewal, a never-ending loop of death giving way to life. This cycle is not just confined to the realms of religion or distant stars. It's evident in the world we live in, the nature that surrounds us, and even in our understanding of life on Earth. Charles Darwin, in his groundbreaking work on evolution, showed us how life evolves through natural selection. Species adapt and evolve. Some thrive while others fade away, making room for new forms of life. It's a natural process, a kind of dance where nature continually reinvents itself. Similarly, in the realm of economics, Joseph Schumpeter introduced the concept of creative destruction. It's a process where old ways of doing things, outdated technologies, and economic structures are relentlessly destroyed to make way for innovation and progress. It's the heartbeat of capitalism, the force that drives markets and economies forward. These examples, from the spiritual to the scientific, from the cosmic to the economic, all tell us the same story. That destruction isn't just an end, but also a beginning. It's about making way for new growth, new ideas, and new life. This cycle is at the heart of progress, of rebirth, and of the continuous unfolding of the universe. This concept might seem overwhelming, or even a bit daunting, but it's also incredibly liberating. It reminds us that change is a natural and essential part of life. It tells us that endings are not just final, but are also precursors to new beginnings in our personal lives, in our societies, and in our understanding of the universe. This cycle challenges us to accept change, to let go of the old, and to welcome the new. In essence, the cycle of creation and destruction is a profound truth that underpins our existence. It's a reminder that in every ending, there's a seed of a new beginning. It's a call to embrace the constant flow of life, to recognize the beauty in this eternal cycle, and to find our place within it as we go about our lives. This principle is a guiding light, reminding us that every moment is an opportunity for transformation and renewal.